Did any of you three get code? <laughs> well, uh, it's a long story. Mm-hmm. Not for today. If I get it at this point, like, all right, fine. Well, I'm just so bored. I watched the Royal Rumble today. It was four hours of meh. Well, I had to start the rumble over again because I fell asleep. <laughs> okay. Seth looks like a geek who got choked out. Rome is an idiot who lost to a choked out guy. You buried both of them. This finish sucks. The match was awesome. Well, you know, I think what they're trying to do is build up for a... No fucking shit they're building up for a rematch. That's not the problem, you fucking dorks. You're getting too old to be screaming like this. Nah, I got time. (laughs) You've got a lot more gray hairs these days. That's true. I think you need to... You think his hair's too long? I gotta what? You gotta bring it down. And she's on her back, on the floor, still cutting her promo. How dare you? Died. I died. Ivory, the star of the Women's Royal Rumble here in 2022. She was awesome. Not, you know, thinking like, yeah, maybe Ronda Rousey's coming back. Like a day later, you know, I see in on online, oh, Brian and Uncle Dave, they, they're saying that Ronda Rousey's coming back. They heard from a source, Uncle Dave and Brian. And I'm like, was I the source? The sign was on fire, which distracted the fans who were being moved to another section. Oh, okay. They were, I thought they were chanting for Daniel Bryan. This was chanting like, we are on fire. Or the, <laughs> the they were chanting, we're on down. fire. World of Wrestling Entertainment fans or sports entertainment fans, they hate clean finishes. They love bullshit like this. And the, the company gave the crowd the bullshit they desired. And the bullshit fans got their bullshit. And everyone was happy. So whatever. Who cares? I'm me. And this is a person I have sex with. And you get a person you have sex with. And we'll fight. You know, like, I don't know. You know what match I want at WrestleMania is uh, Knoxville and Bad Bunny. Sure. One-on-one. Why not? They pay some asshole to make that video every year. And all they do is like, well, I'll just add one. And I'll add one. And I'll add one. <laughs> And I'll add three minutes, 22 seconds. Yeah, I'm done. They were so sad that Kofi got thrown out and and didn't get to do anything. Plus, none of the AW guys had shown up yet. (laughs) Shut up, Brian. There's no Cody. (laughs) Where was Cody in this rumble? Moxley. Yeah, Moxley. I heard Jericho was going to be there. Mm -hmm. Fuck, none of them were. And Brock takes a step back, and he turns his head, and he begins to just wind up his arm like Popeye. And I... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I nearly soiled myself. I was terrified. I was going to see a man decapitated here on a live premium live event. Vinny, your recap of everything Brock did uh, was five times longer than the amount of time that Brock was actually in the ring. And uh, one spot, Drew's out. Brock goes like this. The sign lights on fire. He goes, ah, ha, ha, and they go off the air. My stomach was quite upset. So I watched the majority of oh, no. this match on my phone sitting on the toilet. And okay. I believe that this match... Matched up with, it was the drizzling shits, is what I'm trying to tell you. Do you realize that if you imagine the whole universe, Vinny, you know how large the universe is? I've heard it's big. So you don't know. I, I could give you a number, okay. no. Okay, well, it's very big. <laughs> so I just said that. Okay. Favorite quote from The Simpsons. Bart was doing some road cleanup, and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. That was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. Uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you could have any other name, what would it be? Priscilla. Priscilla Gibson rolls off the tongue. Be a Hanalei's wrestling name. Yeah. So she is going to wrestle. I, and I don't want her to, but like, she mm-hmm. is a heel. <laughs> Pro. Learn from the best. Why do you always think that Vinny is going to show her how to use a microphone? He doesn't know anything about microphones. Because it's a karate or whatever you call it. You That's know? even stranger. I don't do karate. You mean karaoke? Oh. Yeah. Don't Bro, you do... the, the magic isn't in the microphone with karaoke. The magic is you just sing. He doesn't know how the microphone works. Do you know what Everybody karaoke? was kung granny, fu you, fighting. Do you, know, do you know what karaoke is, Granny? No. Whenever the word WrestleMania would be sung, they'd have WRD out of there really fast, mm-hmm. looking fucking horrible. And then one time it was like off the screen because their fucking machine was all fucked up or something like that. He stole Brutus's bike, almost drove it into the ocean, mm-hmm. put his ear in the sand, and he heard fans praying for Brutus. He took Brutus's bike, drove it from Venice Beach to New York City, where he went to the, the Ramada Inn, 
and found Brutus watching the Three Stooges. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler, and then go into images, and then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head, and I'm just fucking watching these. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on fucking Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. The uh, uh, AEW rating, shockingly low. I mean shockingly low and they built this match up forever and they gave it away for free on television and the show did like 950,000 viewers i just i'm so I'm, I'm flabbergasted fact is you and i should not be fighting we should be fighting together there's no reason a millennial cowboy or somebody dressed like a dinosaur or a vlogger should be a champion of this company Look at Wheeler Yuta. He's out here with a couple of jokes like Orange Cassidy and Danhausen. We could take him under our wings. We could take Daniel Garcia away from 2.0. We could take Lee Moriarty away from Matt Seidel and all that high flying. And uh, Moxie was thinking about it. He agreed with a lot of what Danielson had to say here. The man made some points. All right, here we go. Uh, Brandy Rhodes is in the ring. <laughs> so did you, I think you didn't like it. Dude, I'm just baffled. He accuses her of having a fake accent and fake tits. Says, you are getting booed out of this ring next day next to a rich, angry, old, conservative, AEW-hating white guy like me. <laughs> Made me laugh. Lambert starts running about heels and face turns and being turned face down. And she finally slaps him, and this is such a pathetic slap. So here comes Paige Van Zant, And here comes all the women to separate them. This sucked. This <laughs> fucking sucked. You never on Jerry Springer see like, oh, this person's clearly the good person, and this other person's the despicable person. Uh, it's usually, this person's despicable. These people are all assholes. The other person despicable. Yeah. And it's two people that you're supposed to hate that you want to see both kill each other. Listen, uh, there were problems upon problems with this segment. But at the end of the day, when Paige Van Zant came out and she went after Brandy and the women came out, the fans did chant, let them fight. So if whatever they're doing, if these fans want to see him wrestle and they're going to pay to see him fight at the pay-per-view, whatever. Drop one, drop two, and the crowd is chanting CM Punk, CM Punk, and that third arm just drops and the crowd goes, what? MJF's, you know, he's 25, but, you know, he steals tricks from like 50 oh, years ago. Yes. When he takes the tape and he puts it in his armpit and then the ref goes to raise his hand and it fucking falls out of his armpit and the ref looks at it and MJF's begging off and the ref's like, ah, fucker, I caught ya. And he restarts it. Wardlow was going eye to eye with CM Punk. Behind his back, he was passing the dynamite diamond ring to MJF. And then when he gets in the ring, he gets dynamite diamond ring punched and Max pins him and he wins. This diamond ring is so protected that someday someone is going to kick out of that diamond ring shot and it's going to be the biggest fucking pop. MJF can hang his hat on this for God only, probably the rest of his career. That he's the only guy to beat CM Punk. If there's Punk one guy twice who's gonna, in one night in his hometown. If there's one guy who can get the most out of this, it is Maxwell. Jacob I mean, Friedman. there was so much fucking stuff that you could do with this. I thought it was great. Kaylee Ray drives away in the Escalade or whatever it is, and she is kidnapped. She has abducted the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Gigi and JC. Bro, I'd get mad, but there's kidnapping on the show every week. This is not out of the ordinary. Don't <laughs> become numb to how terrible this is, all right? Just because it's terrible every week doesn't make it less terrible. Quite the opposite, Brian. It makes it more terrible. You know what I would give to have a smoke machine where if I walk through it, my gi was on? Mm. You know what shit it is to have to change that fucking thing at the school before class? If I could just walk through a fucking thing of smoke with a magic amulet on, and I wouldn't be wearing my schoolgirl outfit anymore, I'd be in my gi. Yeah. That'd make life easy I on would me. also approve of a smoke machine that could change you out of your schoolgirl outfit and anything else. Every time she was on offense, it was like, ha! Sha! And then every time she was selling, it was like, ah! Everything she did. Like, they say it, it's your personality turned up to 10. Kayla Inlay, it's turned up to like 100 or more. She was the funniest fucking thing I ever saw. So he lost a hair match, came back with hair, we never saw him bald, and then decides to just shave his head. Do I have all this exactly right? Yeah, now he wants to have his head shaved. Oh. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vinny, stop that! No! God. 
Bro. Trying to kill the brain cells necessary <laughs> to tolerate this show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kind of more and watch this bullshit. When Kaylee Ray goes to throw a cake in Mandy Rose's face. And Mandy Rose puts both arms up, and she fucking blocks the cake. And the show's hard enough to watch as it is, but half-assing all this shit or whatever, she was like Ronda Rousey on this show. Like, it was like she totally didn't want to be here. Like, she wanted to do anything on this fucking planet. Like, go shoot Instagram photos I or whatever. I can't blame her. I cannot turn the show off fast enough. I cannot delete it fast enough. Do not watch NXT. It is bad for your mental health. 